Hi, I'd like to talk to you about the Oregon wood splitter, uh, which we've purchased recently uh, close to Melbourne, where we live, and we use wood for the majority of our heating through the winter. And we've been using um, an older uh, machine for the last three years, which is of Chinese origin, and uh, that did come with quite a few issues. And um, when our neighbor moved away, um, we had to buy one ourselves, and we decided to go with something a little bit more reputable. Uh, the main reasons we were looking for is something which uh, certainly had a better um, amount of spare parts available, and also a reliable network of uh, service people and places where you can in fact get the uh, spare parts. Um, the cheaper Chinese ones uh, do um, have quite large um, ton hydraulic systems on them, but the design is not always quite as you would imagine. And uh, in fact, the uh, 28 ton uh, hydraulic ram on this machine uh, worked equally as well, if not better, than uh, the one we had before. Um, other interesting things were that um, the simplicity of design, the actual fulcrum. Uh, was in the middle balance point for tilting the machine and um, yeah everything was uh, really well made which made uh, the choice of buying this machine um, an easy one. Uh, you can see all the hydraulic pipes are all um, nicely uh, covered in wire coil. Uh, everything is substantial, the control lever, um, even the design of the actual uh, head and uh, that had no problem in penetrating all sorts of uh, um, quite uh, difficult at times hardwoods and gum trees that we uh, use. Very large hydraulic uh, tank and good strong bearing axles. Uh, so the machine is easy to move around and you can tow it behind a car. It uses a Kohler motor, you can also get them with a Honda motor. Again these are very serviceable, plenty of spare parts available and uh, a lot of the work is very easy to do yourself. Um, things like the spark plug is easier to get to um, and uh, things like a, um, uh, a gauze across the uh, exhaust to stop fire and sparks, um, a dipstick on the tank, uh, easy to check your oil and uh, also there's the drain plug if you want to change the oil and it uses standard uh, uh, car oil. Um, everything's well labelled so uh, you don't have to uh, remember or go and consult the manual to start it. Uh, it starts in fact first time every time that we've uh, tried it so far. Even my wife's having a go here on uh, some of the smaller wood and uh, she's quite comfortable. Um, it's certainly easier to use in the uh, horizontal position. Um, you're not bending. The height of the table is really good so uh, your back is not being uh, bent but obviously with the larger um, logs from the trunk of the tree it's very handy to be able to split them into two or three uh, before you uh, finish them off on the horizontal table. And uh, with this bit of video I really uh, just wanted to show you um, that there's a wide range of uh, logs and sizes and some with um, all sorts of knotty bits and um, yeah this machine just handles it really well. Another interesting thing to uh, note you'll see that the um, uh, two guards on either side if any of them get stuck the logs get stuck to the actual um, splitting edge and get dragged back well they remove them and uh, it keeps it all safe and easy to manage. Uh, it's also when, uh, worth noting the uh, table uh, that's an actually uh, an accessory but um, really should be a standard item. It just makes the whole job so much easier when you've got that table uh, bolted onto the side. Uh, you'll also notice that the uh, main um, beam has got a curved metal um, surround. That does two things. One is it holds the wood um, easily and stops it falling off, uh, again making it more secure, and also provides a useful channel for the actual blade to travel through and stops it vibrating around and makes the whole operation smooth. In fact, uh, there's very little vibration on this machine. Maybe one of the reasons that we were having problems with our 
previous Chinese machine, it uh, did rattle and roll a lot. And finally, um, the actual time it takes for the uh, piston to operate. Um, one advantage of a slightly smaller um, hydraulic piston is that um, you actually feed it with oil quicker. In fact, this has got a bigger pump, and therefore the refresh times are about half that of uh, what we had on the uh, Chinese machine. That just makes everything much more efficient. Anyway, I think you've got a good idea of um, how easy it is to use. We're very happy with it, and um, we're certainly happy with the uh, still chainsaw dealer. We bought it off in uh, Pakenham, uh, close to uh, the east side of Melbourne. And there we are. Um, probably just uh, around about an hour. Uh, we filled the trailer, and uh, maybe that's it for the day. Uh, we're getting a little bit old, so uh, that's enough for us today. And uh, a great machine. There we are, full wood trailer, ready to go in the store.